As the smallest subspecies of its kind, the Mexican bobcat is a cunning and tactful predator. These territorial felines make their homes in a variety of areas throughout Mexico, including forests, coastal swamps, deserts, and shrublands. These animals are insatiable carnivores, hunting and feasting on rodents, jackrabbits, birds, deer, and collared peccaries. In addition, they will sometimes hunt snakes, lizards, and even scorpions. With Rancho del Arroyo, bobcats have made their much anticipated debut to the hunter call of the wild. In this video, I'm going to refer to my own experiences with the Mexican bobcat while hunting them during early access and share what I've learned so far. All right, guys, Mexican bobcats. So I'm going to start to get into just kind of everything that I know about the bobcats. We're going to talk about loadout. We're going to talk about uh, like what class they are, just kind of all the little bits and pieces. But uh, before I do that, before we jump into it, if you like this video, if it helps you at all, please do drop a like on it. It really does help me a whole bunch. It helps the channel. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already done that. I'm going to have more guides coming out from Mexico, more species guides and uh, other guides. I got a whole bunch of other guides in my Call of the Wild guides playlist. So please do consider subscribing. I also stream Call of the Wild every single day. I'm also streaming over on Twitch. But yeah, so the Mexican Bobcats, this is a class three animal, which means you can use the 223 if you want to. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. I would say use either the 243 or the Mosin for the Mexican Bobcats. I like the 243. The Mosin is also a very good option. Their drink time is between four and 7.30. You're gonna have some zones that go from four until seven. You're gonna have other zones that go from 4.30 until 7.30. What I usually do is I at the time for around five because that's when it's getting light out and then I'll hunt until about 7 7 30 and then wind the time back we're gonna go over where they drink on the map uh, basically they drink on the entire left side of the map and if you can draw a line down the map right through here pretty much you've got them drinking on the left side of that line so basically the desert biome of the map is where you're gonna find the bobcats drinking they'll also be feeding and resting throughout there in their feeding and uh, rest times as well but I like to hunt them during the time when they're drinking I'm gonna go over uh, a few of my favorite spots where they hunt I'm also gonna bring up a hotspot map that I put together for you guys right now I'll throw it up on the screen if you want this map for yourself you can download it for free from my discord you can also join the discord completely for free as long as you're at least 13 years old uh, according to their terms of service you got to be at least 13 but yeah feel free to join up on the discord you can download this map I've got a bunch of other hotspot maps as well and yeah so let's just jump straight into it we're gonna check out a couple of my favorite spots and we'll talk more about the Bobcats as we go along here so like I said I'm gonna change the time to about 5 507 will work just fine that's basically this is the time when it's starting to get light out the Sun is just starting to come out right about 5 o'clock and if I do it this way I don't have to use the night vision uh, if you want to start at, you know, 4.15 or something, use the night vision for an hour for the first hour of the hunt, that's an option too. This is just the way that I like to do it. Uh, another thing I should mention as far as collars go, you want to use the jackrabbit, the predator jackrabbit collar right here is the one that you're going to want to use for the bobcats. So the first place we're going to start and maybe my favorite spot for the bobcats, just because I have four or five zones down here for them. Uh, and it's all, I find that it's all males down here for the bobcats. Now there are a few spots where it's kind of mixed, males and females. There's also spots where it seems to be all females. Now if there's one thing that I could recommend about this bottom, this furthest south lake, is the way it's set up, um, you can't actually cross this lake here. And uh, I've had zones, I've got a zone right here, that's a shared zone, that is a Mexican bobcat zone. Um, and basically if you're shooting at this zone from over here, in order to pick up that animal, you're gonna have to go all the way around, unless you have a tent down here. So I feel like this is one of the lakes where you're gonna wanna have two tents. I like to have one up here to approach the lake uh, for these first couple zones. And then just to be able to come over here and collect animals kind of from this left side, I like to have a tent here. If you wanted to, you could have a tent up here too. You could have three tents at this lake. You do it the way you want to do it, whatever works best for you. But I think you are going to find that uh, you kind of do need to have a couple tents here. Okay, here we go. We've got a couple bobcats. We've got a six. We've got another mythical. That's uh, the twelfth, the twelfth mythical I've had uh, in the beta. My gosh. <laughs> No nines, but 12 mythicals. I've got another six. So this is a really good zone here. This is the zone right here. And uh, I've this one thing I've noticed about them is they are very, very skittish. As you can see, 
We're about 160 out, but because I've got a bad wind, they're already all over me. Also, I find that even if you're crouched, uh, I've spooked them from up, you know, like eight, I've been like 80 meters away crouched and spooked these guys uh, with a good wind. So we've got a brown one. It looks like we got a brown, a red, or maybe two browns, and I think a tan. It's kind of hard to tell because it's so early. Gosh, so there's a five and a six there. I'm not sure what I hit on that first shot, but looks like we got vitals on both. Those will go down. Now, there's something else that I want to mention. As I was saying, you got males and females mixed at some of these lakes. Some of the lakes, it's all males, and some of them I've noticed are all females. This one in particular is one of them. Uh, I've got a few zones there, but they seem to all be females spawning at that lake. A couple spots that I really definitely want to point out to you guys that are definite hot spots are these two tiny little lakes, if you can even call them lakes. Uh, they're more ponds than anything. Uh, but at this little pond, I've got five or six bobcats. And uh, I'd say at this one down here, I've got at least six. Uh, I might even have upwards of like eight of them down here. Just a ton. And basically this little lake is like down inside of a crater. It's actually super cool. And there's kind of an entry point right here where they can come in and out. But um, this is really cool. I'll go down there and show you guys how I've been doing this. But I've got a tent just 200 meters from this one. And then I got another tent just to make it quicker, 200 meters uh, away from this lake as well. All right, so we've got a five and a six. We've got two more males down. I think these are both common. So that's the common fur variation. That's the five and then that's the six. These are both commons. Now, we should talk about fur variations. Now, I know of a few so far. I don't know anything about the rare fur types. I haven't heard anything and I haven't seen any. Uh, but what we do know is there is a blue fur variation. That is uncommon. And then uh, a bunch of different common fur types. There's the common, there's tan, there is red, and there's brown. So there's four common variations, and then we know we know of the one uncommon, that's the blue. Uh, as far as rares, I haven't heard anything about anybody getting any rares uh, during the creator beta. Um, I don't know if there's, I'm hoping there's albino and melanistic, maybe there's piebald, but I haven't seen any screenshots. I haven't heard of anybody finding any rares just yet. We've got a coyote out there. All right, let's move on to here. I want to show you guys these two little uh, hotspots that I have. At these two tiny little ponds. All right, so as I get to about 50 meters away, I'll just start glassing through the bushes here. And we already have a seven up there. He's calm. So he's about 75 meters away. But you'll see as I get closer, as I get to within about 50. Yeah, he's got no idea. He's traveling. But we should have four or five more of them in there. Uh, this at this lake, it's been a mix of males and females, uh, and same with down here, mostly females, but I've had a couple males in there, and then like five or so females. It's pretty crazy how many bobcats I've seen down in that little crater at that lake. I don't know if it's going to be like that every time, but as far as in my in the beta on my map, I've had a lot of bobcats down there. Yo, here we go. Another mythical. Mythical number 13 <laughs> in early access. Just crazy. There's a lot of mythicals. I don't know if it's just me. Or if it's like a mountain lion situation where there's a lot of mythicals, but it's the 13th one I've seen in my beta. I've been counting. And another seven and a six. So I've got four, at least four males here at this tiny little pond, which is really awesome. I think I am just, there might be, there might even be more here for all I know, but let's take a couple down. Let's take down that mythical and maybe that's seven if they don't go anywhere. He's gonna do his thing. Okay, so we got those two. So yeah, four males at the very least. This tiny little place. You just gotta be able to patiently sneak up on it and it'll pay off with probably at least a few males, I would say here. There's that mythical. That was the red variation. I should have shown you guys that for a second, but and there's the common. The red and the brown, common tan, all common variations. And we'll head down to this little crater and you guys can see how many bobcats I have down here. It's pretty crazy. So this I find is a good spot for the tent. Uh, it gives me a visual of the crater. You can see how far away it is and I can sneak up on it. Again, same situation, uh, just because they're down in a, in a crater doesn't change anything. 
Uh, think of it as if you were on flat ground. It's still the same. You still do not want to be running. And I'm only going to walk until I get to about 150, and then I'm going to start to crouch and approach the top of the crater. All right, we're just about at the top of the crater here right now. I'm hoping they're still here. It's about 7. It's about 7 in game. Let's take a quick look. 7.02. I'm hoping they're still going to be down here. But uh, this is also a collared peccary zone for me. This is a shared zone. I get them down here as well at both spots. Both of these uh, little ponds. And that goes, it's a lot of the Mexican bobcat spots where you're going to have them drinking. You're going to have javelina as well. It's definitely a thing. A couple females. Yeah, I know. I know. I see you. So that's a brown and a common over there. I'm just going to run. I'm just going to flush them. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there's a bunch. Two. Might be all females down here. I think I had one or two males. Maybe they haven't respawned. Mostly females down here. But it is it is a mix. For sure. But yeah, I mean, look at them all. Look at them all. <gasps> that's, there's like eight bobcats down here. One, two, three, four. Oh, coming right after me. Four, five, six, seven. It's just crazy. These are all females. So that's a hot spot for sure. Uh, another spot I really like is up here. I've also got a zone up at the top. Uh, that's a shared zone, Havelina and Bobcats. And I've got a couple zones there. Uh, really love this lake. This is also really good. And, uh, you know, you guys saw the hotspot map. You can download that from Discord again uh, if you want that map. But, yeah, that pretty much does it. Showed you guys a few spots. Uh, definitely use that hotspot map. Hunt them between 4 and 7.30. Uh, but, yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap up this guide. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like on it. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. I'm streaming Call of the Wild every single day. I'm also streaming over on Twitch in the evenings. We stream other games over there. So, yeah, feel free to join the Discord. The link will be down below in the description. And I will see you guys in the next one.